Am I the a-hole stories? Am I the a-hole for telling my daughter the truth about why I wasn't in her life? To start, my ex and I were 19 when she got pregnant. We had recently broken up and she found out a couple weeks later that she was pregnant. She said she planned to get a termination but only wanted her sister there. So, I was always under the belief that she had terminated. She only contacted me once saying it was done, and we didn't speak again. Fast forward 19 years later, I found out a month ago that was a lie. My ex passed away 3 years ago and my daughter Kara has been living with her uncle. He was the one to reach out to give me a heads up, after she expressed an interest in wanting us to connect. He and I spoke at length because I was feeling some pretty strong emotions like rage for never being told about her. My ex had backed out of the procedure but didn't want me involved because we were broken up, so decided just not to tell me. But he told me that Kara doesn't know about that. Apparently, I wasn't ready for fatherhood because we were both young, so I bailed. I couldn't believe it. Rob, her uncle, told me he knows his sister was wrong for that, but promised Kara doesn't have any negative feelings towards me, and my ex never painted me as some villain, just a young guy who knew he couldn't properly care for her. He asked me not to tell Kara this when we talk if she asks, and because it could hurt the way she saw her mom. I never actually confirmed I would. Kara messaged me and we've been talking. I've met her twice and it's been crazy emotional. Looking at this girl who looks just like me, and hurting that we're just barely getting to know each other. So far, our conversations have only been about what her life was like, how my life is, what her wants slash future goals are, and getting to know each other. We met again Tuesday, and she finally decided to ask the obvious questions about what made me not be involved. How did I feel, what went through my mind, did I ever think about her, etc. I had been thinking about what to do, but in that moment, I just didn't have it in me to lie so I was honest. That I was told about the termination, had no idea she even existed until now, but that I still really want to be in her life and have the chance to be her father if she wants that. Kara was a bit emotional, we talked some more, and said she still wants me involved. That night, my messages were blowing up. Not just from Rob, but her grandparents as well. They're all outraged for telling Kara about her mom because she yelled at all of them and is refusing to even take their calls. Yes, the lie was terrible, but I just ruined the image she had of her late mother for my own benefit. Rob called me a selfish prick for not taking into consideration how this would affect Kara finding out about this. So, right now I feel horrible. I get honesty is the best policy, but in this case I don't know if I was an a-hole for doing it. I'm still learning this whole dad business, so don't know if I dropped the ball here. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. Your ex lied, your ex created this mess. I'm sorry she has passed, but she did this. You have no obligation to continue a lie you had no part of. Your daughter deserved the truth. Exactly. OP, you were the victim of someone else's long-term lie. Your daughter's uncle tried to coerce you to continue a lie that would only serve to hurt you in favor of your daughter's mother. That is not fair to you. My advice is to keep your head down, avoid responding or stirring up more drama, and this too shall pass. Then you can continue building your own relationship with your daughter on your terms. Not the a-hole. Sounds like Uncle Rob is upset that OP didn't think about how this would affect them. If they cared about Kara, they would have told her the truth when she expressed an interest in meeting him. It's unrealistic to expect a stranger to continue a lie which defames himself in order to protect the image of a liar. You said fast forward 19 years later? So, your daughter is 19 now. She's an adult and deserves to know the truth. You should not be expected to make yourself out to be a deadbeat dad just to avoid tainting the memory of her mother. Not the a-hole. Exactly. If she was 9 it wouldn't be appropriate but a 19 year old adult needs to know the truth. Not the a-hole. The people who lied to her for her entire life are to blame for her being upset at the lies. You are not obligated to take the heat for the lies of others. I do hope you are planning on staying in her life now, it would be horrible to drop that info and disappear, but if you stick around she deserves to know the truth so that your newly found connection isn't built on a lie from the start. I intend to be in her life. It makes me very sad that I already missed out on so much, and I want the opportunity to build something with her. It would be awful to just leave when there's finally a chance to be her father. Now for the next story. Update. Am I the a-hole for telling my 7-year-old the truth about his mother? When I was younger, I had a casual sexual relationship with a woman, Sally, I met at a restaurant. We've been intimate more than 5 times, but less than 10 times. 
I texted Sally on a Friday night, which is when we normally hooked up, asking if she wanted to meet up, and she told me to lose her number. I did and later found out she was pregnant. I contacted her again to see if the child was mine. She told me it wasn't, and that she would be getting a procedure anyway, and once again told me I needed to lose her number. I moved on. One day, I got a message from Sally's mother. She accused me of abandoning her daughter and my son. I told her I had no clue what she was talking about. She informed me that she had been taking care of Sally's son since he was 4 months old, because Sally had a substance issue. At this point, he was 1.5 years old and she, grandma, was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. She said she couldn't do it alone anymore. I ended up getting a DNA test and found out I was the dad. His grandmother passed away shortly after I took custody. He's 7 now, 8 in August, and has been asking about his mom a lot lately. I have always told him that his mom loved him, but wasn't able to take care of him. He has accepted that answer until recently and wanted more answers. I decided to be honest. He asked why he had to live with his grandmother before living with me. I told him, your mom and I weren't talking when she was pregnant with you. I didn't know she had you until your grandmother told me. After that I did everything I could to get you. He asked if he would ever be able to see his mom again. I said, I don't know. I don't even know where she is. She has a sickness called addiction. Sometimes when people are sick like that, they make decisions that no one understands. That doesn't mean she doesn't love you though. He cried a little and said he hopes his mom gets better. I was gutted and called my mom. She said I shared way too much and hurt him. She said I should have shared much less and stuck with the, she couldn't take care of you line, even though he was asking for more. Edit, thank you to everyone who commented, even those who said I was an a-hole for the explanation. All perspectives were read and considered. I couldn't and can't respond to every post, but trust that I have read them. This happened yesterday and he seemed okay today. He didn't say anything about his mother and I am not going to push it. I have always let him lead these conversations. I think I am going to look into therapy and or support groups for children of parents battling addiction. I will also be looking into resources for myself to help me navigate all of these new situations as they arise. I have no experience with kids other than my own, so I may be overestimating my son's ability to understand things and maybe someone can help me work on that. I'm honestly not even sure if his mom is alive. Last I heard, she was but that was a while ago. We have a lot to navigate and I could use some help from a professional so I will be looking into that. Seriously, thanks for all of your suggestions, stories, and comments. It means a lot. Now for the top comments before reading the little update. Not the a-hole. If you lied to him, he would have been upset with you later on when he found out the truth. You described it in an age-appropriate manner. That is what I have been most worried about. That he'll discover the truth somewhere else down the line and will hate me for not being honest. Not the a-hole. You are doing so well. Thank you. It's so hard to feel that way sometimes. Not the a-hole. You didn't volunteer the information out of the blue. Your son has been asking, children asking questions about a topic. Is a big indication they're ready for the information, though the info should be expressed in an age-appropriate way, which you did, and you gave him the facts without going into too much detail, and without making his mother sound like a monster. Your mom sounds like a typical grandma in wanting to protect your son from pain, but in this case, he needed his questions answered. Now for the little update. I was overwhelmed by the number of replies. I did get a lot of people calling it a validation post. I didn't mean for it to be, but it was nice to see so many people say that I wasn't the a-hole. It gave me some more confidence in my parenting. I don't know much about kids or parenting and I'm kind of learning on the fly here. Seeing as in my mom's reactions, made me think I ruined my son's innocence. I have decided to get some parenting counseling for myself to help me navigate different challenges. For my son, I talked to him about joining a group for kids who have parents that struggle with addiction. We have a center here that does a weekly group session for kids. They separate it by grade, so my son will be with about 10 kids around his age dealing with the same thing. The coordinator said the group has everyone from kids who have never met their drug addicted parent to kids who see their
an addicted parent every day, to kids who have lost parents to addiction. My son is very interested and I am glad he'll be able to see that he isn't the only kid dealing with this. Thanks again to everyone who commented. I still don't know if I am doing the right thing but I am trying my hardest to raise a strong, happy, and healthy kid. I hope his mom gets to see him one day. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for telling my daughter the truth about my relationship with her late mother, she cheated multiple times, after my daughter said she wants a relationship with her future spouse like we had. This is the first time I have ever told any of my three kids that their mother was unfaithful, and it was not something I ever intended to share with them, especially now that their mother has passed, but in that moment, it seemed like it needed to be said. Partly, I felt this way because my therapist and I have been talking a lot lately about truth and the dangers of holding my truth inside. She didn't tell me I had to tell my kids, but she did say I would probably struggle to move on and gain closure, as long as I had to keep pretending like my marriage was a happy one. It would be years of having to keep up the facade which would only keep that wound raw. She was right about it. Even though my daughter is upset I do feel better now that I can finally stop pretending like my marriage was anything more than a sham and loveless for the most part. The other factor which led me to tell my daughter was, some of her comments about my marriage, but more so one comment she made about our parenting. She didn't say she loved her mother more than me, or that I was a bad father to her, but she said in her own way that she thinks her mom made more sacrifices for our family and the kids than I did, which is why she admires her so much. It's the first time she has ever said anything like this to me, and I would be lying if I said it wasn't devastating to hear that. It's true that I was not able to be as present as my wife at all times, since for parts of my marriage I was the sole provider and had to work late, but I attended nearly every event, game, recital, and special event my kids had. It was even more hurtful because at one point, my wife was planning to leave me and our kids to start a new life with her affair partner, while I would never have even given a thought to doing something like that. It wasn't even a brief thought of hers. She had already made plans to do it but changed her mind at the last minute. When I told my version of events to my daughter, she became very angry, which I understand. She told me I should never have told her this, and I was selfish for not keeping this to myself. She hates me for ruining the image she has of her mother and her memories of her, and she told me not to even think of telling her siblings. If I do, she says she is done with me. It is hard for me not to be frustrated with my daughter because her immediate response was to defend her mother and blame me for not going to my grave with this secret, even if it meant many more years of pain. I am not sure if I will tell my other kids or not. Am I the a-hole like my daughter says? Would I be the a-hole if I told my other kids the same thing I told my daughter? Now for the comments. Not the a-hole. The truth hurts, but often it can be freeing. For you it is. It sucks that this ideal image she had of her mother is gone. I am a daughter who lost a mother and found out a lot about my mom after she died that I wish I didn't, because the person I would talk to about it was dead. However years later, I was able to appreciate that while my mother was a good mom she was her own human being, and it didn't stop because she was my mother. I got to learn more about her and meet friends of hers I didn't know existed. It was a hard journey that changed how I viewed life because everything I thought I knew was turned on its head. But I grew into who I am today, and while I'm not perfect, I can stand to look at myself in the mirror and be happy with who looks back and I feel pretty good about that. I can understand that perspective. While I think she had her faults as a mother, she was overall a good mother to our children, and that is why I was able to make things work. Info, how old is your daughter slash other kids? How long has it been since your wife died? It's been almost two years since she died. My kids are all in their 20s. Not the a-hole. Your daughter needs to know your relationship was not as happy as she thought it was because she will model her future relationships on it. She needs to know the truth, so that she can be realistic about romantic relationships, and not blindly follow the relationship model she grew up with, when it was in fact a failure. Maybe explain that you didn't want to hurt her, you just did not want her to repeat your, you and your wife, past mistakes. That was one thing I was hoping she would learn from this. It's not healthy to idealize relationships because you never know what a couple is like in private. Marriage is not easy. Many couples don't work out and the ones that do still have struggles and have to put in a lot of work. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for screaming at my mother's friend in front of company after her kids ruined my work? Okay so to jump right into it, last weekend my mother had book club with her friends. One of them is a single mother with two kids, who I usually babysit. 
I was very clear in advance to my mother and to her that I couldn't babysit this time because I was working over the weekend. Despite this, the day rolls around and the mother brings her kids upstairs for me to watch. I tell her again I couldn't as I am working on a commission. Mixing 12 custom pastel gouache paints for a difficult and impatient client wanting a custom painting for their baby shower. She abides, only as the afternoon goes on, the kids come into my space more and more often. I shoo them down and confront the mom downstairs, she's drunk and callous to me. While I was distracted, her kids disappear and I go upstairs to a disaster zone. The kids ran back upstairs and managed to fling my custom mixed paints everywhere finger painting my walls and on several sheets of thick expensive paper I was planning to use for the job. It was days of work and corresponding with the client gone down the drain in minutes. I scream in horror and the kids freeze, I grab them and storm downstairs to find their mother alone in the kitchen filling her wine glass. She looks shocked, but has the gall to chastise me for letting her kids get covered in paint. Here is where I may be the butthole as I rip into her, nuclear style getting more incensed with every stupid excuse rolling out of her drunk mouth. She tries to quiet me, and takes the kids with an insincere apology. I could just make more paint right? As she goes past me and outside with the kids, I can hear the other guests gasp, she immediately blames me, and wow I almost blacked out I was so furious. I stormed outside and in front of everyone I explode. About how she is a selfish drunk who might just have cost me a client, how she has no regard for others or even her children. I was so mad no one could get a word in edgewise, and I scream at her for almost 3 minutes straight with increasingly less kind words, before I spin on my heel and storm off to clean up the mess awaiting me, leaving them all gaping like goldfish. Afterwards, she played the pity me card and some of the other guests who took her side blamed me for ruining their day and for screaming in front of the kids. Even my mother sided with her, and said she was incredibly embarrassed by me. I agree there was definitely a better way of handling what happened, but I refused to back down especially after the being screamed at by my client who has now gone elsewhere with their commission. But tell me Reddit, am I the a-hole? Edit just for your info, no, I don't have a lock on my door, it's a house rule, and I never swore slash cursed in front of the kids. Not the a-hole, and she needs to compensate you for the work you lost since it was her fault you had to deal with the kids. Either that, or press charges for destruction of property. She should have found a different babysitter if she was planning on drinking, and sounds like she drove with the kids? Definitely a not the a-hole. Thank you, I didn't consider asking her to pay, but I'm certain she'd use that to add fuel to the fire if I asked now. She didn't drive home drunk at least, the ladies have a carpool with a designated driver system. Do it anyway. Her negligence cost you. Not the a-hole. That was your work. All these people saying everyone sucks here seem to not take your work seriously. All those supplies are not cheap and a lot of time and effort goes into each creation and her kids may have destroyed hours or days of work you had done. The cost of recouping that work may be far more than the job might pay. That mother was irresponsible and rude. The people who thought you were overreacting should ask themselves if they would be okay with the kids running loose in a doctor's office banging on the computers and messing up patients' charts or running into a staff member carrying blood or biospecimens from a patient and ruining that. I don't want to hear how a doctor's office is a protected space that should be off limits to kids running rampant. Your workspace should be just as inviolable when you are working. You are so not the a-hole OP, and I'm sorry that your work got destroyed. I would have gone nuclear, too. The good thing out of this is that, you'll likely never have to watch those kids again and the other members of your mother's book club won't think you're easy to push around, either. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.